Okay, let's create the Automoblox tire that's recommended here and the starts on page 10. Really, most of the important data is on page 11 of your 55A uh, activity. So we'll go ahead and start uh, the part. Make sure you're in your Automoblox project. Go to new IPT and here we go. So what we're going to do first is we're going to create some concentric circles to get the outline of the tire. And uh, we'll use this sketch plane here. Grab a circle. We'll make one circle and then we're going to offset that circle using the offset tool and whoops that's there we go okay now uh, even though it says on the page 10 it says that you know there's no necessary dimension I noticed that on page 11 there is a specific sketch so we're actually going to use uh, that sketch in particular and it tells us that the outside circle has a diameter of 1.65 and that the uh, two circles are offset by a tenth of an inch so why not right okay so we create those two circles and we're gonna finish the sketch and we'll extrude now the depth of the extrusion is not uh, is the one that you don't really have or don't need so let's just go ahead and extrude to say 0.75 inches okay and uh, we can create actually what's best here is instead of doing it as a uh, and there's a reason you'll see why in a second the reason we want to do this is we're going to actually create a symmetric extrusion so it's a mid-plane extrusion taking our sketch and sketching and extruding on both sides so 0.75 um, and just for simplicity matter 0.75 let's go one let's make it one just to be consistent okay yeah you know, one's easier to divide in half. all right anyway so we got that now what we're going to do again is we're going to share the sketch just like we did in the previous activity, we just go to the sketch and we, we um, share it. And the reason we're going to share it is because we're going to be creating some ribs on here. So the sketch is shared and we're going to actually start um, and edit the sketch and we're going to add some features to this. So even though we still have that extrusion, by sharing the sketch we can update it and then again, just like we did in the couple activities ago, we're going to reuse it and, uh, and, and add further features to it so the sketch is not done. All right, now here's the fun part. We're gonna create this really cool, neat looking um, rib inside of the tire. And to do that, we're going to start by cutting a couple lines on here. And we're going to, uh, we're gonna have to turn off some auto constraints here. Um, and let's go ahead and right click and go to constraint options. <coughs> Excuse me. Let's go ahead and delete horizontal and vertical. Okay, and the reason why we wanna do that, we're gonna keep parallel perpendicular intersection on auto constraint, but we want to get rid of those because the lines we want to create here are not uh, horizontal lines and maybe we need to yeah maybe we need to do a couple more let's well actually well that, that's all right okay so just delete the horizontal and vertical ones all right so I uh, I'm going to create a line here and then I'm going to create a line here but this time I want it to be along the same line as the one I created so you see how there's the black dots next to it we want to keep those so We'll select that. Now what we're going to do is dimension. We're going to dimension the angle this time. It says in the sketch that we want the angle to be 4 degrees. So even though <clears throat> we sketched it kind of wide, it's going to turn out to be really narrow when we're done. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so 4 degrees. Okay, and uh, not quite what I wanted uh, to happen here. Let's, let's instead, let's see if we can dimension to the axis. So let's try here and here. Nope, not gonna do that that way. All right. Um, oh, four degrees to the, okay, that's what we'll do. All right, so stay with me here. We're gonna create a vertical line along the axis and we're gonna make that a construction line. That's gonna be easier. So, because it wants us to be four degrees on either side of that line. So we'll do construction line, line, and we'll be four degrees here. No, oh, it still doesn't like that. Okay, let's constrain the uh, let's constrain this construction line to be uh, let's constrain this, constrain this construction line to be vertical. Okay, all right, and see some of times we just have to kind of you know play with it and tell it to behave the way we want it to behave. And there we go. Now it's doing what I want it to do. And you see, and I'm sure you saw that I was just trying to do it the way the sketch is giving it to us. So okay. So we got those lines. Now the reason we added those lines is we're actually going to create another offset circle. And we're going to kind of cut out a sort of trapezoid, obviously not a true trapezoid, but we're going to cut out a sort of trapezoidal kind of figure. And we're going to use an offset circle here. Uh, whoops. And we're going to take... All right, so we're going to create an offset circle here. Now, if it doesn't want me to, for some reason, it kind of gave me an error message when I tried to do that. So that's okay. We'll just create another circle then. And 
and we'll dimension the location later. So we do that and we're gonna kind of go up here and we're going to, I, th I know why, because it doesn't want me to use the feature that I've already got, so that's okay. So anyway, we'll dimension the new circle from the old circle and we're gonna space those two circles to be 0.03 apart. Good, okay. Now, item number three says we're gonna use the trim tool and we're gonna cut away everything except this little trapezoid, okay? And even the lines, we're gonna get rid of the lines too even though, even though um, you know, we, 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 we had to spend a lot of time creating them. All right, so anyway, go to the trim tool. The trim tool, by the way, is located here. It's a little pair of scissors. And the trim tool is really helpful because it kind of automatically outlines extra excess lines and we can get rid of those extra excess lines like that and all we're left now is the geometry that we want to uh, we want to use so we'll finish the sketch and we're going to create a single rib per the directions on our thing we kind of have to rotate our, our view here to kind of get at it and maybe zoom in a little bit but that's what we're looking for and we're going to do another mid-plane extrusion. And since we extruded last time an inch, we're going to extrude it to the same, uh, not the same, I should say. Not quite the same. We, want, we don't want it to extrude all the way out. So let's make it 0.9. Let's see what that looks like. And, you know, you can feel free to fudge these numbers a little bit as well. Uh, if you uh, just basically you want it to be less than the original extrusion. You want that to kind of be like that. So that's good. 0.8 is good. So hit OK. And there's our single rib. I can't see it in this particular view, but if I come around here, I can see it there. So let's make this the home view just to, so we can see that see that rib. Okay, so there it is. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we want that rib, obviously, to repeat. So the idea is why create a feature a certain amount of times when we can just pattern it, right? So to do that, we're going to use what's called a work axis, okay? Through the center of the circle, circular or elliptical edge, and we have to select the appropriate axis tool. Now, what we're going to do is again not work plane work feature we're going to go to work axis okay and the work <coughs> excuse me the axis we want to use is this particular circle here and we can just kind of click it right and we can click here and here okay and that's work axis there it is right there there's our work axis okay probably didn't have to click as much as I wanted but that's what I want to do I want to create that work axis through the center of the circle okay see it the yellow line right there now here's why we needed that. We needed that because we wanted to repeat this pattern around this axis, which is the same as the, you know, the circle. So circular pattern, and we're going to click the feature, in this case the rib we just made, and we're going to create the, uh, select the axis, which is the work axis we just created, and we're going to, whoops, make sure I've got the right thing. Yep, axis is set here. Okay, there we go. Make sure I, I forgot to click the axis, and we want to place how many of these ribs are we placing uh, let's see five ten it looks like 15 of these ribs my counting is uh, is incorrect please forgive me um, 15 of the ribs around you can see the outline of what we're trying to create here we hit OK and now we've got ribs cool huh all right so that's all set now go back to the shared sketch right we've used this sketch a bunch of times now now here's the cool part right we're going to create a thin line that runs around the inside center of the tire so all that means is we're going to take this particular you know feature right we're actually going to make that circle again right and we're going to use that circle we'll make it so it's coincident with that right same circle that we had originally right finish the sketch now we've got that circle again well, what we'll do is we're going to take that circle and the line, not the circle itself, but the distance between the circles. And we don't want to extrude all the way, just like we did. We, don't, we want, still want to do a mid-plane. But this time we're going to do very little. Let's say 0.1, right? Yeah, 0.1 is good, OK? The idea is that we just make this little line, and the ribs extrude out, right? So that's great. OK, now let's say you don't want to see that sketch anymore. Let's say, whoops, let's move it over a little bit. Let's say you don't want to see that sketch anymore. Now you're done and you're satisfied and you're good to go. Well, you can go to the sketch, right? And you can right click and uncheck visibility. And there you go. You can also do the same thing for the work axis. You can uncheck visibility and you'll be left with just the feature you're looking for. All right, so there you go. There's your automobile blocks wheel and uh, 
It looks pretty cool. You can even change the materials on this to make it look even better, but, you know, I'll let you access that how you feel. Have a nice day.